Hi everybody, in this video I want to review my wood stove. The brand is Guide Gear and it is 12 inches across by 18 inches long and about 9 inches deep. High, I'm sorry, high. And um, I am glad I waited to do a review on this because when I first used it, I was really disappointed because when I closed the door and even when I opened the vents, it would choke out my fire and it, and it would die. And I was really bummed um, that it wasn't working. So what I did was when I got it, it said it recommends that you do an initial burn outside. So I took it outside. I built a nice big fire in there and burned off all the chemicals or the coating or whatever it is that they have on the, on the stove. And it was smoking, it was doing its thing and burning off and you could smell the chemicals. And then I realized right inside you have the, the fabric um, seal and they all just melted and fell off. So if I open this right now, chances are there's going to be billows of smoke coming out and I'll tell, I'll tell you why. Um, when I first got the stove and I did the fire and it would choke out the fire, um, I was telling a friend about it and he was explaining how to do a fire in a wood stove. And basically you get your fire started, get it going where it's burning your wood, and then you close these vents, leave these open because you need a little air, and then close your, your pipe. Uh, some people call it a damper or a flue and you close that it causes the wood to just burn as coals so um, even though there's not a roaring fire in here I can feel the heat coming off of it on all sides so that was the trick and just made it so much easier for me because when you're trying to keep a, a fire going it's frustrating <laughs> especially when you're working because you're trying to keep throwing wood in here but if you know how to do it now I can set it in here and I can do my work and I can work for a couple of hours without thinking about it and I'm standing here and it's pleasantly warm I live in 288 square feet so this is perfect I am so glad I got this wood stove so um, I would I would highly recommend it as long as you work with it practice learn how to do that fire, learn how to set it up. I think you'll be happy with it too. So, um, so it comes like this. There are attachments that you can buy for it, but this came with the pipes, the body, the handle that you have to put on, and then these tools. I don't know what this is supposed to do except for push things around. And then you've got this. I'm not particularly happy with either one of these tools I'm using because that's all I have, but I will probably get a small shovel so I can shovel the um, ash out and put it in a bucket. Do be mindful that when you burn this, let me, let me try to open this up, hopefully not have billows of smoke come into my house. You can see a little bit right here. So these are the seals that they just burned off the first time I, I made a fire. And so I did have to buy a sealant to put those back on. Not a big deal. I'm not worried about that. So now it's, it's set up to just radiate heat for a couple of hours. Now, again, the tools, those are the only things I'm really disappointed with but I would still buy it again. I highly recommend it. Take a look at it.